In this video, I'm gonna be giving you guys my consumer cellular review and letting you guys know how does it stack up exactly in the year 2022? I do have an interesting answer for you. So guys, let's talk about it. Well, hey there, guys. Welcome back to yet another episode here at EB3 Studios. And if we're meeting for the first time, I am your host, Eddie. And today, we're talking about consumer cellular. Now, before we get started here, I do want to ask you, do you have your favorite beverage in hand? I stopped by my favorite gas station. Before I decided to go ahead and film this video here, so, guys, go ahead, get yourself something to drink here. You got it? All right. Yeah. Let's begin. So, Consumer Cellular is, honestly, if you watch the commercials... We asked our customers, what do you like most about Consumer Cellular? As you can see, they tend to cater around the older generation, but... Let you guys in on a little secret. You ready? They let anyone sign up for the service. Doesn't have to be older populations. All right. So let's go ahead. We're going to dive right on in here. So Consumer Cellular does operate on two different networks. So depending on your area, they do offer service on the AT&T network as well as the T-Mobile network. So it really depends on which area you're in that you will be on one of those networks here. So the company offers cell phones, no contract cell phone plans and accessories with the focus on users of 50 plus. Like I just told you, there's no check see your age they'll let anyone sign up so guys let's go ahead like i said let's get started here all right so i am at the consumer cellular the website here and this is how it looks just on the home page here let's go ahead and scroll down just a little bit here so this is geared towards the older population because there are benefits for AARP members, as well as a 100% risk-free guarantee. Uh, you have to use less than 500 megabits of data usage. And if you do, you can go ahead and get your money back. But just note, this is a big thing right here because this is half a gig of data, which in all honesty, it's so easy to use half a gig of data. So just honestly, just keep that in mind right there. Now let's go ahead, let's browse the plans here and we're gonna jump into that right here. So they do give you the choice. You can add up to three lines here. And if we click on learn more, you can go ahead and share your plan with up to three lines here on a consumer cellular account. One additional line is $20 followed by an additional line for $15 each. Every line shares the minutes, text, and data on the monthly plan you uh, on the monthly plan you select. I should take a sip of this here, and you can change your plan anytime without fees or penalties. So, love that right there. So let's go ahead and take a look at the plans here. There are six different plans here, which, in all honesty. They really could simplify these. This actually reminds me of another carrier that I reviewed quite recently. I will talk about that towards the end of this review. But right now, we're focusing on consumer cellular here. So for $20 a month, you can get one gig of data. For $25 a month, you get three. $35, you get seven. $40, you get 10 45, you get 15, and then 55, you do get the so-called unlimited data. And I love diving in on the unlimited data because in all honesty, a lot of these unlimited plans are not unlimited. 
So let's go ahead and check this out here. So if I do click on the $55 for the unlimited data, it does show right here. On unlimited data plans, access to high-speed data may be reduced after 50 gig gigabytes of usage, and you may experience lower speeds for the remainder of your billing cycle. So I did go ahead and I talked with Consumer Cellular here, and they did confirm that after 50 gigs of data is used, you will be throttled to 128 kilobits per second for the rest of the month. So just keep in mind here, I did say you can go ahead and add up to three uh, lines total. So one line here of the unlimited, it's 55. For two lines here, 75. And then three lines, it's gonna be $90. But just note as well, these prices here do not include the additional taxes and fees. Shows right here. The totals shown here are cost for your monthly service only. They do not include any taxes and fees. The plans do include a $5 monthly credit for participation in the auto pay and e-billing. And then all of these plans here, they do include the unlimited talk and text. So a brief overview for one line, this is what it costs for one line of service. For two lines of service, this is what it costs. And then for three lines of service, this is what it costs. And then keep in mind, all these here, if you do the two or the three lines, the tier data is shared across all your lines. So one thing I do want to go ahead and explain to you guys is when I was talking to Consumer Cellular, they did tell me that if you do go over your tiered data, so for example, you're on, you're on the one gigabyte plan of data and you use over your one gigabyte, they will go ahead and send you a text message letting you know they will automatically bump you up to the next data tier. So just keep that in mind here. So some of you might not like that. So that's why I'm here and I'm explaining to you exactly what to expect. So if you're on this one here, for example, the three, um, the three gigabytes of data and you're gonna be exceeding that, they will go ahead and bump you up automatically. They will send you a text message. They will go ahead and bump you up to the seven gigabytes of data. So honestly, there's no overages, but they do go ahead and just uh, charge you extra right then and there. But like I said, you will get that text message. All right, and now we're gonna go ahead, we're gonna check out the coverage here. So I'm gonna go ahead and enter in my zip code here and I'm gonna go ahead and just walk you through the coverage in my area and do some explaining there. So I did type in the zip code and it says, we have you covered. Let's see our coverage map. And like I said, guys, this is gonna depend on your area because they do use the AT&T and then they do use the T-Mobile as well. So I already typed in my zip code, but it wants me to enter it in again here to check the coverage on the map here. And it does show right here, LTE coverage in my area. So I do get the 4G LTE, but I actually talked about this. This is the same exact map that I used when I talked about a previous carrier here. They have the map wrong because the map is showing 5G, but I am in a 4G LTE area. So I guess they are trying to expand this area, but they shouldn't upsell you until they go ahead and do it. Anyway, I'm in an LTE coverage area. I wanna go ahead and I wanna click on learn more about the legend here because I do want to explain the roaming coverage. So Consumer Cellular does offer roaming coverage, which honestly is great. I am noticing a lot of these carriers that especially are on the AT&T prepaid network they do offer the roaming coverage. So if you do travel to an area 
where you are not in the AT&T uh, reception area, you will, depending on the roaming partners, still get service. So you will still be covered depending on where you go. And we see that here in the off-net coverage. So on the AT&T network, on Consumer Cellular, they do offer roaming, which is very good. All right, now we're going to go ahead and dive into some products and services here. We're going to briefly take a look at what is offered here. So if we go under the phones and devices here, we're just going to go ahead and browse through what they've got here. So it says, find the perfect device for any lifestyle. So they do offer the bring your own phone. They do offer the free SIM card there. So currently, Consumer Cellular does not support the eSIM, but eventually they will. All the carriers are going to need to be supporting the eSIM coming up in the near future. So for right now, they'll go ahead and send you a free SIM card. Or if you want to go ahead and buy a phone through Consumer Cellular, you can go ahead and do that as well. There's Samsung here, Motorola, Apple iPhones, of course. So there honestly is all the main contenders right here. And you can go ahead and pay full price or you can go ahead and do the financing here. All right, now we're going to go ahead and dive into tablet support here. So Consumer Cellular does go ahead and offer what's called the Grand Pad. So the Grand Pad is basically a very easy to use tablet for the older generation because honestly, a lot of old people, they like the easier, the better. So this is basically what they offer here. And you can pay full price of $300 or you can go ahead and choose their 0% interest free installment plan of $12 a month here. So basically, this is just a really dumbed down version of a tablet here, which honestly is pretty cool. And then as far as additional tablet support goes, there's currently no other tablet support and there is no Apple Watch support available either. And then one thing I found to be pretty cool here is on their website, there is a help section where you can go ahead and click on the support and facts and questions. And there's actually quite a bit of very useful information here. So for example, they cover billing, the plans and usage, like I just covered under the plans here. How do the automatic up upgrades work? It shows here if you go over your plans, uh, minutes or data, which honestly, there's unlimited minutes here. So if you go over the data, they'll automatically upgrade you to the next plan that you need. So there's really a lot of cool stuff. And then there also is videos and manuals. So you can go ahead and you can click on your phone here. So they also offer flip phones, which I know a lot of people love their flip phones. So you can still get those through Consumer Cellular. So you can go ahead and click on a phone and it will basically go ahead and show you little video tutorials like how to use the phone, how to make and receive calls. So honestly, I do find that to be very useful, especially for the older generation. All right, and then just a couple more quick things I do want to cover here. So one of the products and services, there is this thing called CC Go, which is Consumer Cellular Go by Lyft. So I actually found this to be actually pretty neat. So you can go ahead and dial a ride and it's covered by Lyft. So you can go ahead and call this number here. You can meet your driver. You'll be picked up at your door within minutes and your courteous, friendly driver. And I actually like that they do say courteous and friendly. You actually want to have some reassurance by that because, you know, there's a lot of crazy people out there. So the fact that Consumer Cellular actually offers this, you don't need to worry about paying for cash because they will go ahead and charge your credit card that's actually on file. So... Super simple there. And then one more thing here I do want to cover is roadside assistance here. So 
A lot of these companies here and Consumer Cellular is considered a prepaid carrier. They actually don't offer roadside assistance. A good majority of them don't. For just $3 a month, a month guys, you can go ahead and get vehicle towing. Um, if your vehicle has broke down, fuel delivery, jump start, flat tire, lockout service. So that is pretty cool as well. All right, who is this for? Now, Consumer Cellular is basically geared towards the older generation just because of all the special perks that they offer. They do offer the AARP. They do go ahead and offer the Grand Pad, the Consumer Cellular Go, the Roadside Assistance, which honestly, really any, anyone can get the Roadside Assistance, but the rest of these here, the AARP members, and I actually did see something that I didn't talk about yet. So on the plans here, there's an option that says, I don't need a data plan. So you can go ahead and just for $15 a month, you can get unlimited minutes, unlimited talk, premium nationwide coverage, paperless billing, convenient auto pay, award-winning customer service. So this right here might actually be for a wider audience right here because I do run into a lot of the older generation who doesn't want to use the internet on the go. So honestly, this might be a very good contender here, but just note that taxes and fees are extra. So for this right here, this is honestly a very good plan for just unlimited talk. As far as the rest of these plans here go, guys, in all honesty, they're not all that great. I will go ahead and leave in the pinned comments my suggestions to the best, in my opinion, cell phone carriers in the year 2022. So definitely go ahead and check those out and then compare them. So Consumer Cellular, in all honesty, it does remind me of, I recently made a video on... Pure Talk actually made a video on them as well. You can go ahead and check that out on the channel. They do offer a lot of the same plans, but Pure Talk did not offer this unlimited talk plan. All right, so I know a lot of you guys are going to want to know, how does Consumer Cellular stack up in the year 2022? So if we do go ahead and take a look at what is offered here, Especially this plan here, this unlimited minutes plan for $15 a month does not include the taxes and fees. This plan right here, guys, is a very good contender. The rest of these plans here, guys, the 1, the 3, the 7, 10, 15, and the unlimited data, in all honesty, there's really nothing that stands apart about the plans I would only recommend Consumer Cellular, like I said, if you just need the unlimited talk. This is a fantastic deal right here. If you do go ahead and need the data, I would go ahead and check out the rest of my suggestions in the pinned comments. So guys, if you happen to enjoy this video, don't forget to give me that thumbs up. It really helps out the channel, helps push out this video into the algorithm so more people can be informed by this. And maybe you're coming across me for the first time and you're thinking, man, Eddie, thank you for going ahead and doing a deep dive into consumer cellular. And you know what? I'd like to stay in contact with you. Well, that I encourage you for yourself to check out the rest of my channel. And if you like what you see, guys, go ahead and subscribe to the channel. Tick that little notification bell to be notified of all my future videos. So guys, like I just said, in summary, Consumer Cellular, if you just are looking for just that unlimited talk plan, I think it's a fantastic deal. I really haven't come across a provider that offers that. Just note, guys, that all these prepaid carriers and consumer cellular especially is going to be placed on the lower 
prior priority list because it is an NVNO, which basically these companies go ahead and buy minutes and data from the bigger companies, AT&T and T-Mobile, and then they go ahead and they resell it. So if you are in an area that does get heavily congested, just know that you will be placed on a lower priority. So anyway, guys, go ahead and let me know what carrier that you would like me to review next down in the comment section. And if you have any additional questions for me, go ahead and drop me down a comment and I do reply to a whole bunch of them, guys. And until next time.